Okay, we've moved the uh, metal portion of the plinth back forward uh, so we can get uh, access and work on everything here. So we've got these three springs. If any of these fell out during, during installation, you need to put these back into place. There's a large rubber grommet down here and that, that fits uh, solidly into that. Um, these springs are all, suppo all supposed to uh, have their easiest bend towards the center, center uh, well. So if your spring did fall out, when you reinstall it, just make sure that the bend in it, the easiest point of bending is, is uh, pointing in towards this well, and that'll help it to sit uh, nice and centered. Make sure you didn't lose any of these bottom metal washers or... Uh, uh, rubber, rubber washers, gaskets, uh, while you were doing that also. So here's the, uh, the next part, folks. It's a little bit tricky. Um, it involves some, some uh, arm strength, so hopefully you're up for that. You're going to want to have your, your nuts and washers uh, ready uh, from, the, from the, when we uninstalled it. But basically, I've got the turntable like this and the motor. is lined up with where the motor hole is. And I'm going to turn this upside down and these three cups here, here, and here, hopefully you can see these, need to rest into the holes of these three springs. Um, and I basically uh, kneel on the floor when I do this and I very carefully lower it onto those three springs. So again, you have to have it matched up. I'm doing the one way over to my left as I'm looking at it right now and I'm seeing the plastic drop into the top of that spring hole. Now I just placed it on the last one and then this front one is always the the most tricky because you can barely see in there. But you'll feel that it, it will sink down when you do hit it. So I've got all three of these springs in place. Actually I don't. I'm going to lift this out and try again. Okay, extreme left is done. And now the far back is done. And now I just need this front one. That one I did without sight. Okay, then you've got a rubber washer, metal washer, nut. And um, I usually just do this front one first. It's got the most pressure that it's exerting upward. So rubber washer, metal washer, nut. Just hand start the nut and then tighten with your six millimeter socket. Rubber washer, metal washer, nut. trouble getting this one started. Excuse my elbow here if it's in the way. And finally, rubber washer, metal washer, and nut behind the transformer here. In each case, I've tightened this all the way down. Okay, and your job is, is basically done. Um, you'll have to obviously um, put your cable back on if you disconnected that. Uh, anything else that you disconnected between the two, you're going to rehook those things up and uh, reinstall your bottom with the four screws and then turn the turntable over and reassemble the things that you uh, took off in, in order to do that. I'm not going to show those. You can go back to the, to the uh, first couple of videos if you need to see how that was done, but it's definitely more simple than, than the other parts were. And let's uh, just turn this over for kind of a voila moment. Okay, sub chassis still floating. We haven't done anything to do that. And we now have a mirror inside there. And uh, congratulations, you finished your project.